Hello, everyone, and welcome to our tips and tricks video series. My name is Scott Wolf, and I'm a consultant with eCapital Advisors working uh, on the Workday Adaptive Planning team. Our focus of today's session is going to be around Office Connect and Excel add in uh, for reporting within uh, Workday Adaptive Planning. The focus within Office Connect today and the tip. Uh, I will provide is around rounding suppressions. And the functionality here comes into play um, where it will allow users to turn on or off rounding on a specific cell. Uh, this comes into play when users have a report book or a board book where they're um, turning on the workbook properties uh, rounding to, for example, thousands and they have a metric or account um, on a specific report that doesn't make sense to be rounding. So for example, for our example today, we'll be using headcount uh, on a report that's being rounded to thousands, which would give us a very small decimal when we really want to see kind of our total headcount on that report. So let's go ahead and jump into Office Connect here. And what I'm going to what I have pulled up here is a demo uh, report book. And I'm going to clear this out. So you can see here, we have a report with um, some of our financials here at the top. Um, and in this example, I wanna add our total headcount for the company in our working budget for March, 2021. So on the left side menu here, you'll see uh, we have the option to bring in our accounts and I'm going to simply click to bring in our headcount from our workforce planning sheet. When I do that, I'll apply this directly to this cell. And when I refresh, it will bring in a number. Uh, on the selection properties up here at the top, if I click here, and I click the suppress rounding two times, it's going to turn off the workbook rounding uh, that is working in the rest of the cells in this workbook. So I'll go ahead and click OK. I'll then just show here that workbook properties, format, and everything in this workbook is rounding to the thousands. So I suppress that rounding for this specific cell. I'm gonna put a title here. So we know what account we are looking at. I'll put total headcount. When I then refresh this report, we should see a total headcount uh, number come through for our working budget in March. So you can see that 159, if it was rounded to the thousands would be a very small decimal, about 0.159. So, uh, this is a very good use case for any report where you have metrics or accounts in a section of the report uh, that don't need to be rounded to thousands. Thank you for attending our tips and tricks video today um, and search the eCapital Advisors website or our LinkedIn page for more of these videos. Thank you.